three cylinder Yanmar that I'm putting into my John Deere 430 tractor. And while I had it out, I decided I would replace the crankshaft seal here that is uh, on the end of the engine since it's basically impossible to get to uh, once the engine's in the tractor. So uh, you can just pull these out, leverage them out with a screwdriver, though you gotta be careful uh, not to scratch up the housing there. You don't want to leak. And the uh, here's the old seal. Looks like this. We pried out. Um, these seals, they wear out over time, and then they'll start to leak oil. So here's my new seal from John Deere. Um, this really cost wasn't too bad, about 10 bucks for the at the John Deere dealer. The big thing on these is how you press them in. Um, you got to press them in square. You don't want to press them in too deep. You don't want to press them in too shallow. Some guys will just hammer them in with a pipe or something, but uh, that kind of made me nervous. So I'm going to rig up a little fixture here and I'll show you how we're going to do it. Okay, so to do this, uh, actually a piece of PVC pipe almost matches the diameter of the new seal. So I got the new seal right here. And then here's my cut piece of PVC pipe. And then I had this uh, scrap bracket sitting around that had some, some holes in it. And so what I did is I put that on top of the PVC pipe and then the bolt that holds on the pulley on this end of the crankshaft, I put that through. So now as to put in the seal, all I have to do is tighten this bolt down and I will perfectly and evenly push the seal into the housing. I don't have to worry about nerfing anything up, getting the seal crooked, banging on the engine, any of that stuff. So we're gonna try that here. I just kind of tested it all out. That's actually the old seal. So we'll uh, get our new seal swapped out and then we're gonna take our, uh, uh, the wrench or the socket there and tighten her down. Before I set this up, I did make sure and sand off the end of the PVC pipe real flat and smooth <clears throat> so I don't have to worry about cutting or narfing up that rubber seal. Once I do this and you put it in the tractor, I won't know if it leaks until <laughs> I'm running it and got the engine all the way installed. So this is a uh, 17 millimeter bolt there. So now if this works, we should just be able to Turn our fixture. Now I I checked in the John Deere manual it says to install this seal uh, flush with the housing. So the nice thing about this is I can just put that thing in there just nice and even, or kind of but that side looked like it was getting a little bit behind. Okay, That's pretty good. So if I need to, I guess I could get the hammer out and it, but you can go as slow or as fast as you want to, but there we go. So we'll probably put it on there and even it up a little bit, but new seal installed. Now I'll be able to put my uh, pulley on there. We'll be ready to go.